Welcome to Specify. This video will show you how to create the mapping for a new data set in the Workbench. The Workbench is a handy tool for entering data and then cleaning it up before committing it to the specified database. Data is kept in files referred to as data sets in the Workbench, and the first step in creating a data set is to create a mapping. So what is a mapping? Basically, when you input data into a data set, you want to know where it's going to go in the specified database. So the mapping is both a visual cue for you to know what the links are between the columns or fields in the data set and the fields in the specified database. It also, in the background, tells specify where to put the data at the time that it is committed to the specified database. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is open the workbench. We accomplish that by clicking on the workbench button in the taskbar. And to get a new data set, we simply click on the new data set button on the sidebar. And a dialog pops up giving us the options of either creating a new data set mapping or using an existing one. You may ask, why would you want to use an existing data set mapping? Well, there is a 2000 record limit to the data sets in the workbench. So if you have a lot of data you are entering, you may need to create more than one and you want to make sure that they are exactly the same. So the workbench remembers the mapping and you can simply choose an existing one. You can also import data into the workbench and at that time you can click on an existing data set mapping if you know that the data you are importing will need the same mapping. But for right now we are going to create a new data set and we want to start with no mapping so we will click on the create new data set mapping and hit OK. And the data set mapping editor pops up. Over on the left is a list of data types. You may recognize these as the tables with their colorful icons from within specify. This is a list of the tables or data types available for our mapping. To add a field from one of these tables, I simply click on it and that brings up a list of fields. I want to add the station field number, so I click on it, and then I come down to the arrow, which when I click it, will add it to my mapping. So over here on the left, I see that the station field number that resides in the collecting event table maps to the station field number column in the data set. So what this means is that whatever data I enter into the station field number in my data set will go into the station field number field in the collecting event table when I decide to add my data or commit my data to the specified database. And this is referred to as uploading, but that is a different video. So what I'm gonna do now is simply add some fields and give a little more explanation as I go along. I want to go to Collection Object and add Catalog Number. And I also want to add Field Numbers. Then I want to add Determinations. I have Genus and Species Data. So I add those fields. Now, if under determinations, you cannot find the taxon rank that you need to add, then simply click on the taxon table and you will find it there. Do not click on the taxon import only table. This is a list of all the available ranks. However, it is only or should only be used when you only have taxon data. In other words, you're creating a taxon authority file. If you have any other data in your data set, then please 
take your ranks from the taxon and determination tables. I want to point out under preparation that you can have eight preparations and I want to add those and show you a nifty trick. I click on prepared date one and I want to add all the fields down to the not including storage location. So I hold down my shift key and I click on count one and I click on add and voila, I have added all of those without having to click five times. I'm going to stop here. This video is getting rather long and I think this gives you a good idea of how the dataset mapping editor works and how to set up a mapping for a new data set. You're basically uh, creating the columns for your data set, but when you do, you're taking them from the actual fields and tables within specified so that when you are ready to commit your data to the specified database, you know exactly where that data is going to go. You may have some questions or require some fields that you are not seeing in the editor, and that will require you to map to a text field. If you need more information about this, there is another video about mapping to text fields and you should check that out. This concludes this video on creating a mapping for a new data set. Thank you for watching.